stunt show. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, one thing that I, I just want to suggest to you to, for you to think about, uh, and especially if you go on to really read Descartes' meditations uh, seriously, but to go through it, um, there is this this problem in the in the uh, meditations where you know he starts with radical doubt and then he rebuilds the whole world and everything's hunky dory at the end, as I was saying in the last video. Um, but, but he never really gets to the point of the genuine terror of the situation. If you really start to get into the mindset that there is a malicious demon that is programming your life and that reality is entirely different, that's, that's a paranoid thought. That's when you are, if you really buy that, you are um, losing touch with reality, assuming that reality is what it is. Um, and, and that puts you into the, that puts you into the position of an insane person. And, um, and, and, and so there's something that is, deeply disturbing and, and in in the matrix film and i think it's in the second clip that i i provided for you up above but you can look for it uh, when neo really starts to realize what's going on as they're making the transition from from the the matrix virtual reality to the real world he is seized with terror. I mean, there kind of was in that scene that I showed you in the earlier video, but there is a point where he kind of goes, no, 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 I want to get out. I don't want to do this. I want to get out. Um, and I think that's the moment that I'm talking about, the genuine terror. That it like, I don't care what's real. I, I just want to go back to the, I just want to go back to the virtual fantasy world. Because to destroy my entire life is to destroy me. And there's a deep, you know, that's a, a deep psychological break that would not be easy to handle uh, for anyone, I don't think. And so, uh, I don't think that Descartes really captures the terror, the absolute terror, if you really took his meditation seriously. Um, and the Matrix kind of at points tries to capture that, but doesn't really capture it either. I mean, so there is a there is a version of adapting Descartes' meditation where you really get the real terror where it's a break with reality. Um, and, and where the ego really doesn't know what is real and what to trust and what not to trust. This is a total collapse of meaning uh, and purpose in the world and, and would be uh, quite shocking. And I don't think that many people <clears throat> when they're reading the meditations get to that point because uh, because it's only suggested or alluded to and I think Descartes really glosses it over uh, and so that's what I mean by stunt show it's like Descartes is presenting a you know a, a, a tightrope act where it looks very dangerous but but everything's kind of constructed to be a lot safer than it looks um, and so there is a way in, and, and this is kind of where like the Anselm's argument uh, for the existence of God and how heavily he leans on it and how problematic that is. Um, 
it, it undercuts the radical doubt that he starts out with. And so the doubt is kind of inauthentic. And so if you were to really authentically doubt in the way that he somewhat suggests, but doesn't really get there, uh, if you were really to think that a malicious demon was effing with you, um, that's scary, like deeply disturbing. And, and, and so that's part of what makes Descartes' meditation kind of fall flat is that he just doesn't go there, but it's like it's almost, you know, it, it, it suggests itself to you. Uh, but that would be interesting if somebody could uh, really uh, develop that.